Good afternoon. Today, let's tickle your memory. Do you remember what happened six years ago in 2011? Take a moment to think and shout out some answers. Did anyone get any of these answers? Although the rollout of Medford's five-year goals didn't make the national news, it was significant for our district. Our goals for the past five years have been to have essential outcomes and common assessments for all subjects and grades, to create a systematic RTI process for all students that included interventions and accelerations, and to include writing and vocabulary instruction and practice for students. We have been successful with our goals, and here are just a few of the things that we've accomplished over the past five to six years. In the area of essential outcomes and common assessments, each subject, course, and grade level has a curriculum map that includes essential outcomes, topics, and skills. If courses or subjects have more than one teacher, these teams have created common assessments in order to track student data. In the area of RTI, we've grown exponentially. Six years ago, we had interventions at the elementary, and now we have a systematic RTI process at all levels, where teams meet to discuss students' needs for the purpose of giving options for them to be successful. In addition to intervention options, our schools have also provided additional options for students to accelerate with increased numbers of AP courses, honors courses, RPM workshops at the high school, high interest classes and STEM courses at the middle school, and makerspaces and genius hours at the elementary school and of course, the start of personalized and blended learning at all levels. In the area of writing and vocabulary, we have had numerous speakers and workshops, which included Rick Duvall. And now, six years later, all of our students in grades four through 12 learn Greek and Latin roots. And teaching vocabulary isn't just for reading class anymore. And there is a common writing format in grades six through 12 called Melcon that is used in a number of subjects, not just English. Way to go! These are just a few of the accomplishments that we've done over the last five to six years. Here's a virtual high five for all of you. So what's next? Last fall, the district surveyed community members, including staff, to find out their needs. One of the themes that arose was teaching kids to be more responsible. As a result, one of the goals found in the district's strategic plan is to move toward more personalization in our classrooms. In addition, many staff and administrators have done research into how that would look, which resulted in a new five-year goal and a draft of a five-year rollout plan. So here it is, drum roll please, your next five-year goal. Although the wording may change slightly before next August, the main idea of the goal is to create a more student-centered classroom versus a teacher-centered classroom. One of the ways that will help you get there is to learn about and use more blended or personalized learning in your classroom. Your PLC point person has already reviewed and helped edit the five-year plan. It is now your turn to take a look. This document can be found on my webpage under the PLC tab. During today's PLC meeting, take some time to review and post comments on this document. This document is for you, so if you don't understand it or it doesn't seem doable, now's your chance to give suggestions. Make sure you pay close attention to the objectives of each year, what you will need to be able to do and understand. In order to prepare you to complete this goal, you will have options to choose from in order to learn more about blending or personalizing your classroom. One of those options will be offered this summer. So if you like that option the best, make sure you sign up for it when you receive the Summer Professional Development Sign Up. Now on to today's schedule. Your PLC point person should have given you two documents the Spring Educator Effectiveness Punch Card with the SLO and PPG deadlines, and the End of Year Checklist, which will help you check off all the tasks you need to complete before you leave for the summer. These documents are also found on my webpage with active links. Due to the end of the year tasks, there will not be seminars today or in May. 
And as a reminder, today's day concludes at 345. And here are a few things to look forward to. You will receive an email from me before the end of April with a summer professional development calendar with links to sign up and an end of the year survey. And coming up next fall, we've secured another fantastic national speaker. On the second day of in-service, everyone will hear from Todd Whitaker, the author of What Great Teachers Do Differently. Until then, work hard and learn lots.